here. Short and wide. Room on offer. And welcome, Steve Amundsen. A good shot from Joshua De Silva. Back with a conscious effort to get his left leg out of the way. Any inconsistent bounce. And just use the pierce. Depth to the crease. Use the pierce to get the ball past. Alex Lee's a short third man. Good shot. Nice use of the feet. And that is the inclination there, as rare as it is from the silver to attack. It was a good shot. As you said, Wish, good use of the feet. And because the ball, nothing happened off the surface for Jack Leach, he got to the pitch, hit it well. Well, that's found the boundary. These are always handy runs. End of the day runs always seem to count double, especially when they're against the second new ball. Over pitch delivery on leg stop, and Joshua De Silva, who has been there for a long time, didn't miss out. And that's what happens when you take the new ball. It travels a lot quicker. That's whipped away through the onside. Yes, another familiar shot from this man, Joshua De Silva, who's played a super hand here. Very, very useful innings indeed. 52 from 143 balls in 200 minutes. Appreciated by everyone here and his teammates as well. Another half volley on leg stump. I was crushed away through the mid-wicket mid region, but raised. Yeah, yeah. That one was well controlled. That's yeah, a beautiful shot by Joshua De Silva. Yeah, yeah. And that's the thing on, on this surface with the bowlers that are on show. And De Silva, he was very good in defence yesterday, very disciplined in defence yesterday. See here, he's coming forward, even a short ball. He's looking to looking to come at the ball. That's a great shot. Fantastic shot from Joshua De Silva. Just slightly overpitched from Chris Wokes. Didn't swing. Down the middle of Josh De Silva's bat. Regal from Joshua De Silva. Full face of the bat, high elbows. Huge out, walked across, given. And he will review immediately. A I just wonder if it's because Copy he thinks that, he hits it or because he has that review. Review LBW. It's a fair delivery. Leslie to Mark, we have a player review for LBW. The original decision is out. I've already checked the front foot. It's a fair delivery. Can you move on to front on, please? is quite close to the bat. Um, doesn't appear to be any bat. I'm going to need Ultra Edge to confirm. So we have an Ultra Edge. Yep, there's a spike as the ball is resting on the bat. Mark, I'm ready to go back on field to Joel. Joel, I'm going to have to ask you to overturn the decision to not out. You're on screen now. I think the umpires may check whether it's four or six. Yep, stays with four. Oh. oh! The big shot played and missed. Well, De Silva trying to break this stalemate. Picks the wrong one. Some turn from Jack Leach, bongs as well. Gives himself a bit of space and makes beautiful contact this time. 
times that absolutely perfectly. Yes, yeah, the movement before the ball is delivered towards the leg, just to access that offside. He knows the line that Jack Leach is predominantly bowling. A really good shot from Joshua Da Silva. Moves to 86, eyeing up his highest test score. Go! Again, he makes seriously good contact. Two men in the deep, neither of them anyway or anywhere near that one. So he's suddenly raced on to 90, 280 for nine. Well, after those six successive maidens, suddenly a very, very different response. So it's down the ground. He thinks he's got there. He certainly has. What an innings from Josh De Silva. The ecstasy written all over his face, and boy, he's deserved that. Concentration, courage, it's had the lot. A brilliant hundred. A maiden test hundred for Joshua De Silva. The West Indies wicketkeeper batsman. He certainly deserved it. Played exceptionally well for his team. Marshalled the lower order with quite a few partnerships. Standing ovation all around. Well deserved, George with Silver. Take a bow. There was a nick, there was a sound there and gone. Well, would you believe it? Josh De Silva is going to review, he may as well. West Indies have three left, but I think he knows he's edged Copy, it. Joel. Review. And wouldn't you believe it? Review, uh, review for call. broken Originally because of the 100. Third on the television director, we have a player review for a court. The original decision is out. I've already checked the front foot. It's a fair delivery. Can you move on to front on spin? And the ball is very close to the bat. Very close to the bat. I'm going to need ultra edge to confirm. Just waiting on ultra edge, Joel. Ultra Edge coming up. Just rock and roll it. To take it back, take it back. There appears to be a gap there. Okay, go for it, go for it. Right there, freezing next to the bat. There appears to be a gap between bat and ball. Take it, take it all the way through, roll it through, and see if there's any contact with the bat. Yeah, there's contact with the bat leg as the ball passes through. I'm ready to go back on field to Joel. Joel, I'm going to have to advise you to overturn your decision to not out your on-screen signal now. Oh, that's extraordinary. The game has descended into the realms of farce here. Joel Wilson gave out Josh De Silva on the field. Josh De Silva just called for the review as an afterthought. He felt that he'd hit it. He thought he was out. And in fact, before the decision came in from the TV umpire, to uh, overturn the decision. Josh De Silva had left the field. Over, it's done. Finally, there'll be no reprieve this time for Jaden Seals. Joe Root using the old adage that if you need a job doing, you best do it yourself. He's picked up the final wicket to fall in this West Indies innings. They fall three runs short of the 300 mark. The most significant number perhaps is 93, and that'll be the lead that the West Indies carry as uh, England prepare to go out and face the music in their second innings. A relief all round for England that they finally get to leave the field and put their feet up, and uh, great satisfaction for Josh De Silva, who has played a quite marvellous hand, shepherding the tail through to make his maiden test match century.